Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, June 30th. I'm James Spann. Once again today, scattered showers and storms in progress, mainly on the eastern side of the state. And we'll see those around each day through the weekend ahead. Good old hot summertime weather. Check it out. There's the upper air look across the country this afternoon. We've got a big trough in the west, an upper low over the northeastern states, and a ridge over the Gulf Coast. And there's the visible satellite view, convective bubbles across the deep south. Most of the action on the eastern side of the state. That was the radar composite at 226. In fact, at that point, we had a severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Coosa and Tallapoosa counties. Temperatures 90 for Birmingham and Tuscaloosa, 80 for Anniston because of nearby showers, 82 for Alexander City, a big thunderstorm in progress there. There's the watch warning map across the country. Heat advisories for the Orange counties west of the state. Flash flood watches north of Alabama, parts of Kentucky, and some of the adjacent states. Got a chance of severe storms up north in advance of that trough. And a marginal risk clipping the northeastern corner of the state for this evening. Some of the storms there could be pretty strong coming down from Tennessee. And again, the main threat, strong straight line winds. Tomorrow, three marginal risks around the country, including one that covers a pretty good chunk of Alabama. Areas in darker green. And again, the main threat, strong straight line winds, maybe some hail. And then for Thursday, no organized severe weather expected in that day three outlook. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The west is relatively dry. Rain amounts for our state between one and two and a half inches. And of course, as we always say this time of the year, no, your number will vary because of the scattered nature of the showers and storms. And the tropics very quiet for now. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run valid tomorrow afternoon at 4. Trough in the west, upper low in the northeast. And for us... A warm, muggy day, scattered showers and storms, mainly tomorrow afternoon. They could be strong. Highs, I'd say, 87 to 90 for most locations. This is Thursday, partly sunny, a few scattered storms around, about a 50-50 chance of any one spot getting wet. Most of them, not necessarily all of them, coming after 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Pretty much the same thing Friday. Look at the precipitable water on Friday. That's a very, very deep layer of moisture across the state, so storms that form on Friday and probably the weekend as well could produce heavy rain, a lot of rain in a very short amount of time. When you see precipitable water values like that, the uh, storms will be very efficient rain producers. And this is Saturday, 4th of July weekend, just not much change. The sun will be out at times, and there could be a passing storm Saturday, especially Saturday afternoon, the high around 90 and the same thing on Sunday. Let's go to Monday of next week. Not much change, partly sunny. Pop-up storms are possible. And a week from today, Tuesday, the 7th of July, little weakness in the ridge to the west. And again, hot, muggy, a few scattered storms, highs around 90. Let's go out 10 days, Friday of next week, July 10th. Main wave action way up north, 591 upper high to the west. And not a whole lot of change. It's a persistence forecast. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. Find it interesting. Some of the members are spitting out over a foot of rain. Other members are closer to two inches. The mean about five inches. One way or another, that's a pretty wet look here coming off the Ensemble. Numbers for Birmingham off the National Blend of Models. Mostly upper 80s showing up here through next week to near 90. And the new CPC outlook. Unfortunately, our little blue shades have faded away. Temperatures may be a little above average for the period July 8th through July 14th. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.
KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.